Yeah, I sort of forgot to like do the rest of the base on this and now there's, oh, I didn't finish doing the, so I gotta do that first. That's good. Oh my gosh, he's such a Scorpio. Wait, what color is a scorpion supposed to be anyway? I'll probably put away this knife before I kill myself. Scorpion. <laughs> okay, they're mostly brown with like some less brown bits. Oh, this is disgusting. I hate this. Oh, I hate this so freaking much. There's some black ones too, I guess. How about we go with dark brown? Dark brown sound good to me. This time, I'm going with the Bugman's Glow, but we're gonna darken it a whole heck of a bunch. That's what this was, right? Grab it. <laughs> yeah, that was actually probably too much. Where did I put that? Sucks it right up. Well, that'd be a good color. Just kind of what I was going for. Let's just go. Probably even easier than the last one. There's no outfit. There's no skulls. It's just the whole thing. Because, you know, scorpions, man. So I'm trying to think if I've ever interacted with a scorpion before. One time my roommate tried to get me to eat a scorpion, but that was... Once was really, really recently, and once was like way like back when i met him but i'm like yo um why eat a scorpion when i have perfectly good human food laying around these like scorpion well they, they were they were like hard candy like lollipops but they just like had a scorpion like han solo style in there and i was like oh, okay so i ate the whole candy and then i stopped when i got close to the scorpion you guys can finish mine that was not what the cool kids were doing the cool kids ate the scorpions i wish that i could be like one of the Cool kids. All the cool kids, they seem they seem to fit in, you know, and I just kinda I want that for myself. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. I like the cool kids. Is the stinger supposed to be the same color? It looks like it is. Probably should have done the ground before we did the mini. I think it's probably fine though. Not supremely worried about it. I hate how shiny everything looks as soon as I put a fresh coat of paint on it. I'm pretty happy with it. this color though. That's nice. So I set out some of this stuff that's like kinda gravelly. It's good for like the base of a mini, because it'll like make it look textured. But this one already is textured. My plan is to just just not. Just literally not. I think I did it all. Oh, we let that dry. We decided what color is the base gonna be. Do we wanna do gray or brown? Gray, brown. Brown it is. I'm gonna use this. It'll be kind of like sand. You know, scorpions like sand, right? That's the thing scorpions are probably known for. I already hit my hit one of the scorpion's feet. Is a scorpion foot kind of like an kind of like a monkey's paw? I feel like the answer is probably. How how much different could they possibly be? It's ridiculous. It's un un absolutely unacceptable. All right, all right. Oh, didn't mean to get it on the scorpion's torso there. Is it is it a thorax or is that only insects? I feel like it's gotta be. Well, it's a ra I guess it's called thorax on a spider, right? Yeah. So we'll say it's probably called a thorax when it comes to scorpions too. So it's next to impossible to actually get the full coverage on the underside of this stuff. So it's kind of the thing we just kind of have to hope that people don't see it because it's just. And I'm seeing a bunch of gray here that I didn't get with the initial base coat of the scorpion. What's it called? Like the natural like armor crab that's on insects like this, or directs like this? Or insects. Oh, the uh, the exoskeleton. You know, like the skeletons on the outside. Ah! Oh wait, this isn't the detail brush. This one's the this one's the detail brush. All up in there. Oh, there's a spot here I missed too. Wow. Who knew you can miss so many spots when you're even working with just one color? I barely see it, but it keeps catching my eye. And I'm like, darn it, I can't get that. A lot of spots are definitely not dry yet, but a lot of spots are, so I'm going for it. Also, if it kind of mixes together and makes kind of like a unique color, it'll give it a little more texture anyway, so it's okay. I think I'm going with it. Yep, that's a bit too much though. See, under the thing where the gray is. It's a shame it'll never be never be dealt with. Oh, mostly gone. That's mostly good. Got the edge here. Stop here and let those dry because I can't really do anything else while those dry. All right, this is a new strategy I like to call speed painting because I got someone to be in 20 minutes. Generally, not the way you want to do this, but uh, maybe it'll work out. We'll find out together, won't we? Hmm. This is a constant back and forth of me putting too much paint on the feet and then me putting too much paint on the ground and then like moving on to the feet. It's a constant struggle. I think eventually I'm just gonna have to be like, you know what, good enough. And I think that time is now. Next step is gonna be the dry brushing step. I'm gonna add just a little bit of screaming skulls. Yo, I should've used this for the ground. That would've really looked like sand, but uh, I didn't, so here we are. 
So it's been a couple hours. I went out and I'm back and it looks like this is gonna be pretty good. I like the color pretty well. I'm just gonna dry brush it with the gray brown mix that I totally left here and did not put the lid back on. I'm just gonna dry brush it with that. I don't even think I'm gonna need to give it a wash. I'm just gonna like clean up around the feet and then call it a day. I think that'll be pretty good. I'm pretty sure that dry brushing is just one of those things that like, it kind of leaves very subtle results a lot of the time, but the subtle results do do things. That sounded stupid. It's like, you don't really notice them right away sometimes, but I think it does kind of, I think you subconsciously notice them and it kind of leaves, gives you results that way. Oh, should be pretty good. Just gotta get up right by the feet there, right there. This one's a mess. Return of the bad guy from Toy Story 2 to Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I said 2 2. Just about done. I'm not even gonna put a wash on this. I don't think I need it. Looks pretty good without. It's pretty much done. Pretty simple looking color scheme, but scorpion nonetheless. Okay, bye.